<laughs> Session A is back again with my Sega Master System Collection, Part 3. This is my third take on this part because the first time I went over by two minutes and I still had games left over and I was trying to get it all done in one part. So the second time I did it ultra fast and got it done in six minutes. But I was tripping all over myself trying to get everything out. And I got rather purged also. Excuse me. <sighs> okay, before I give this another shot, I also want to take time out to thank CMB Retro Gamer Retrospective, rather, sorry. CMB Retrospective. This awesome dude in the United Kingdom emailed me and he's going to send me a present. So he requested my email. I mean, my. He knew my email. He requested my snail mail address, which I sent him. And so when I get that, I will open it for all to enjoy, especially me. Okay. I hated this game. I bought it new at Toys R Us and only played it once. And that is because it requires you to use both controllers, and I'm not that gifted. I can't use both controllers at the same time. Manual, mint condition, and the catalog poster, mint condition. The card is still in its protective sleeve. All this is explainable by the fact that I only open it once. However, like I mentioned in part one, it has been the unfortunate victim of a castration. It no longer has its wee little willy. Okay. Rescue mission. I can't play this game because it requires a light phaser and I don't have a light phaser. It does, however, have the manual. And I think it was bowed, and is bowed, and I think the reason I had it in upside down was to try to unbow it. In Dodo Racer, which I believe was a favorite of the four races, didn't you do a review of this? A play review? Heck, a little, 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 little. A playthrough recently. Anyway, it's a used copy because it has a sticker on it, almost using an expletive. And we can see the condition the manual is in. And the cartridge is in good shape. And it says Sega of America, so it's an American release. This one, I don't think is. I can't verify that though because that says Sega of America. Oh well, so is what I know. Ghostbusters. Who are you gonna call? Ghostbusters. Just don't call them on the NES. This I know is not a, an American release because the contact information is all for a company in England. Populous by Tech Magic, and it's a game full of action because Sega says so. It has the glorious black and white Sega Master System manual, although it's thicker than most. I'm going to put it in upside down because this one's bowed. Okay, it won't go in. Wait a minute. It's not going to let me put it in upside down. That's a bar. White label, if I didn't mention it. And this is going to take another part. I'm just not, not going to get through it. Doing it in six minutes will wore me out. 
I'm not as young as I used to be. I used to play this all the time in the arcades, the set down version. This was one I bought back in the day at Toys R Us. It therefore has the game, the manual, and the poster. Global Defense. Kind of looks like a ro uh, robot reject from the black hole, doesn't it? No manual. <sighs> Spellcaster. A role playing game because Sega says so. And also, it can be saved your progress with a passcode. I hate passcodes because they're usually like 16 characters long. And being dyslexic, I don't like anything that's 16 characters long. Okay, manual in rough shape and red label. I didn't really see where I started. I have enough to do comfortably and one more, one more volume, so I'm gonna end it there. So until next time, stay awesome.